Hey, 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 it's your boy A Book Carter. Welcome to another award winning edition of Urban Grind TV. And don't get no better than this, man. Got your boy Philadelphia Freeway in the building, man. Legend, legend himself, man. We about to dive into it and see what's going on, man. What's good with you, man? How you feeling? Are you all good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Happy to be back in Chicago. You know, it's always love every time we come through. Now, usually, you know what I'm saying, as you can see, I let people introduce themselves, man, but I couldn't hold back, man, on Stand Next to Legend. I had to let them people know, because there's a lot of young people out there that's not attuned with some of the ground laying work that you done put in. So could you carefully, you know what I'm saying, like walk some of these modern day people, you know what I'm saying, or some of the history of you, you know what I'm saying, and some of them accolades and them hard avalanches you had to put in this game? Yeah, well, you know, uh, it took me like, you know, all my life to get to get on, you know, uh, in the early 2000s. I got signed to Rockefeller, part of, you know, the infamous Rockefeller Records. Uh, hit records like What We Do Is Wrong, Flip Size, Rock The Mic, you know, legendary catalog, legendary performances. You know, I just founded a new company called Freedom Thinkers Academy. It's music, health, education, and culture. And we just pushing the culture forward. We just grinding, getting ready to drop some new music. I put out an album in 2018 called Think Free with Rock Nation. And, you know, we grinding. We're going to continue to grind. You know what's so crazy about that, man? Because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, around my age, you know what I'm saying, will remember some of the hard work you put in. And then, you know, we probably like lost track with you, you know what I'm saying? You got all these things going on. So how did you take it, you know what I'm saying, from the music and the shows to coming up with the company coming in? What inspired you to do that? Well, you know, uh, September 2015, I was diagnosed with kidney failure. I was on dialysis from September 2015 to February 2019. So that's where the health aspect came from, you know. Uh, uh, February 2019 I received my new kidney and ever since then I've been going hard you know on the health side I've been ambassador for the National Kidney Foundation work with gift of life donate life you know um, just spreading awareness about keeping yourself healthy making sure people know it's important to keep up with your routine physicals get your blood work done at least once a year that's what I've been doing on the health side you know on the education side we just uh, started this program where we got stem certification programs for people that's trying to get into the workforce you know what i'm saying so all that's on the website www.freedomthinkersacademy.com as far as the music you know i'm getting ready to put out a new project with, uh in partnership with my company think free with my company freedom thinkers academy and rock nation you know so we grinding we pushing the envelope i gotta ask a question man because like I remember the days being young, going through the hallways, and I'm not just saying this because you're right here. Like this is like literally, I respect the legends. I still play it currently because I'm trying to teach my son to them. You know what I'm saying what kind of influence you guys have. You know what I'm saying on the music game. But what was it like? You know what I'm saying like being free, like making a track. You know what I'm saying being right there with the legends. Because like when I stumbled across you, you came out of nowhere and you came hard. You ain't just coming like one feature. You came one of the second in commands of the state property projects, and you doing the major features. You know what I'm saying? And you came hard. So like, what was going on in your mind around them times from like? going from where you was to being right there in the midst of it all just man just excited you know i had one foot in one foot out i was still in the streets you know that's why the music like what we do is wrong resonates because i was really living that at the time we still hustle to the sun come up crack a 40 when the sun go down you know and uh just wanting to lead that life and you know just be successful in the music business just inspired me to be great and i just had the mindset of i'm not stopping i'm going hard and i'm gonna keep pushing and you know and i got a lot of success from that I got to ask a question, man. This one, personally, my first time ever hearing you was on the Dynasty album, 1900 Hustler. Mm. Like, mm. like now, you know, when Hov bring new artists out, you know what I'm saying, everybody run, like, okay, what was that? I had no warning, you know what I'm saying, no promo on none of the shows that he had a new feature on there. He was just, when he's doing a promo, he was telling everybody just cop the album. We listened to 1900 Hustler. It was a different kind of song, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't just a regular hook verse hook. It had a whole theme to it. Like, what was the idea of how y'all came to making that song? And, like, by you knowing that was going to be, like, your first project with him on something major. Like, what was that like? Man, I just was excited, you know, when, uh, you know, Beans, everybody was a part of the song. When they asked me to be a part of the song, you know, I wrote the verse. I'm like, this going to be my intro to the world, so I got to go hard. And it was easy because I'm a hustler, you know what I'm saying? So I just talk what I know on the record. And, uh... The good thing about it, Jay was like, we gonna, I'm going to line you up so that everybody could be excited. So right before my verse, they put the little violin elevator music right before the verse. And, you know, it was, it was my intro to the world. And, you know, it was dope. It was super dope. Mm -hmm. Is there any advice you could give to anybody in this entertainment world? Because, like, you're more just a musician. Like I said, you run a company, you know what I'm saying? You've been a survivor, you know what I'm saying? A, a serious illness. Is there any advice that you give anybody that's dealing with anything in this world, period? Man, you know, just put God first, man. Believe in yourself. Second, you know, you got to go hard. If this is what you want to do, you got to treat it like a job. You got to have integrity. And, you know, when you see opportunity present itself, you got to take advantage of it because they come few, far, and in between, you know. 
So look, man, and let everybody know where they can find you on all your platforms. You guys got to go check out the legends and find them and keep up with what they got going on because it ain't just past work. They currently working right now, man. You can find me on Instagram at Philly Freeway. You can find me on Twitter at Philly Freezer. On Facebook, it's Philadelphia Freeway. And like I said, I founded a new company, Freedom Thinkers Academy. The website is www.freedomthinkersacademy.com. How you feeling? Man? How you doing, brother? You're doing a great job here, Urban Grind TV. Trying my hardest, man. How you feeling? What you got coming up, man? Well, right now, Philadelphia Freeway and Beanie Siegel are in Chicago with the Get Down or Lay Down Tour. Yes, and they are obviously the premier artist, and we're going city to city, state to state, giving good hip hop and good music. Man, I want you to also let everybody know where they can find you at, man, because you're the world's greatest promoter out here, man. So we got to get in tune with your shows. The greatest promoter on earth on Instagram and the greatest promoter on earth.com. And I'm the owner of Slug in the Magazine as well. Check that out. Women's Empowerment. That's what's up, man. This your boy, A Bull Carter, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, Philadelphia Freeway. Got the greatest promoter in the world. This is award winning edition of Urban Grind TV. What's up, y'all? It's the founder of Freedom Thinkers Academy, the bitter legend, Philadelphia Freeway, and you're watching Urban Grind TV.